Hi, and welcome to Speed and Science. This is Mark, and my name is Udo, and this is episode four. We titled it the Shovelhead Rocker Boxes, also known as the icing on the cake, right, Mark? Correct. And in the previous two episodes, what we really talked about was the cylinders and the heads. Today, we want to talk about the aluminum billet rocker boxes. So, let's start with a purpose. What are they for, Mark? Well, when we're looking at any uh, push rod four stroke engine, uh, it is obvious that the, uh, the rocker arms are usually attached directly to a head and, and protected from okay. elements with some sort, of a, some sort of a cover. Now, shovel hats are kind of unique in the sense that, you know, said cover also uh, serves as a, as a it's, it's a structural component, serves as a mounting point for, uh, for rocker arms. Right. So why is that? As far as why Harley Davidson Company decided to go with this particular arrangement, it's a little bit of a mystery. There's a lot of speculations going around, but um, all guessing aside, uh, what they've done uh, with this particular solution, uh, they kind of completed the overall look of the uh, of, of the engine, making right. you know arguably the best looking motorcycle motorcycle engine you know ever made. Yeah, it's a really good looking engine, Mark, but apart from its good looks, what are the improvements over the OEM components? Uh, the original rocker boxes started as a sand cast piece uh, with holes and, and such machine afterwards. Um, it's an okay method for uh, mass produced components, but uh, it carries a lot of um, inherited shortcomings. What kind of potential issues are we talking about? Uh, the most common issue was always oil leaks. Um, the mating surfaces on the uh, original boxes are, you know, nowhere near flat, as flat as they're supposed to be. Um, the uh, uh, the valve uh, to rocker arm geometry is far from, from optimal. Um, the casting process um, ends up uh, having wall thicknesses uh, nowhere near consistent as, as they should be. And that in turn causes uh, interference with the, uh, with the higher valve lifts and, and so on and so on. Um, the entire piece, is, piece uh, flexes quite a bit on the load as well, especially at higher RPM. That's quite the list. So what's the fix? Uh, our design addresses all of the above and then, and then some more. Um, everything is sealed with O-rings um, in order to keep the oil inside where it belongs. So the, no more total loss uh, lubrication system. Um, the bottom mating surface is perfectly flat uh, for long lasting uh, seal. Uh, we got rid of the, uh, the original step uh, rocker arm shafts. We're using evolution style shafts with the addition of some, uh, some oil holes. Uh, we also moved the location of, of, of these shafts to, uh, to make sure that uh, a valve, a valve tip to rock around geometry is, is perfect and allows for high lifts. And we're talking about uh, 600 tau plus lift wow. right, right out of the box. Wow. Um, there's no more need for uh, actual adjustment anymore. And for all of you mechanics out there, uh, we also made the removal of, of the shaft easy. All you need to do is just blow some compressed air into this hole and the shaft pops right out. Wow. Uh, for all the... Uh, nice. Yeah. For the technical minds, yes, we kept the, uh, the one degree incline uh, shaft angle uh, as, as original. So, yeah, small details matter. So Mark, these are really big improvements over the, uh, the existing rocker boxes. So what does the builder need to take into consideration for a build so that there's fitment? Well, the finding an extra space in any motorcycle is always a chore. It's just the nature of the beast. And shovel heads are no exception with the uh, uh, backbone and a down tube of a frame uh, right. being notoriously in the way of, of the, uh, the rear head assembly. So what we've done, uh, we machined a couple recess areas uh, in the rear rocker boxes and also in the rear head. Right. So that plus the fact that our heads are a little shorter than original allows the builder to use taller cylinders okay. in case he wants to build a stroker. Right. So all in all, uh, speed and science rocker boxes um, are way more than meets the eye. There's a lot of important and beneficial improvement inside. Thanks, Mark. Thank if you. you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. And if you enjoy watching these videos, subscribe below and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks.